Genesis 29, verse 1. Jacob meets Rachel. So Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the people of the east. And he looked and saw a well in the field. And behold, there were three flocks of sheep lying by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks. A large stone was on the well's mouth. Now all the flocks would be gathered there, and they would roll the stone from the well's mouth, water the sheep, and put the stone back in its place on the well's mouth. And Jacob said to them, My brethren, where are you from? And they said, We are from Haran. Then he said to them, Do you know Laban, the son of Nahor? And they said, We know him. So Jacob said to them, Is he well? And they said, He is well. And look, his daughter Rachel is coming with the sheep. Then Jacob said, Look, it is still high day. It is not time for the cattle to be gathered together. Water the sheep and go and feed them. But they said, We cannot until all the flocks are gathered together, and they have rolled the stone from the well's mouth. Then we water the sheep. Now while he was still speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she was a shepherdess. And it came to pass, when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, that Jacob went near and rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his mother's brother. Then Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. And Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's relative and that he was Rebekah's son. So she ran and told her father. Then it came to pass, when Laban heard the report about Jacob, his sister's son, that he ran to meet him, and embraced him and kissed him, and brought him to his house. So he told Laban all these things, and Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. And Jacob stayed with him for a month.